Hi friends, welcome to Florence Programming. In this video, I am going to explain you about data warehouse implementation. See, data warehouse is represented by data cube. As we are all know, this the model of data warehouse is data cube, and data cube consists of set of cuboids and fact table and dimensions. The following things we must consider to implement data warehouse. That is efficient data cube computation, access methods, and query processing. These are the three things we must consider and we must look into that before going to implement the data warehouse. What is cube computation? See, if you are posting some query on data warehouse, so the, the query will be processed and search the data on the entire data warehouse automatically the response time and the performance of the system will be very low so to improve or the response time and to improve the overall performance of the system we have to compute the cube so cube computation is nothing but what are all the cuboids are very essential to perform the OLAP operations. So we have to select such a cuboid for operations that selecting the cuboid, cuboid is called cube computation or the method is called cube computation techniques. Next one is access method. So how we are accessing the access structure of the data warehouse, what method? Here we are using two methods. We are bitmap and join method we are using for accessing the data warehouse so then query processing techniques how we are processing our query with the selected or computed cuboids so first we can see how to calculate how to compute the cube see the efficient cube computation techniques so it is very essential because it reduces the response time and enhances the performance of the OLAP because without computing the cube, just we are posting the query or analytical process on the entire cube, automatically the response time will be more and the performance of the system will be reduced. So to improve this and the benefit of cube computation is greatly reduce the response time and it enhances the performance of OLAP. And the next time, in programming way, we can use compute cube operator. This is the one operator, compute cube and cube name we can give. It will perform the computation operations. See, for these cube computations, there is two strategies there. The first one is, we have a hypothesis that the dimensions are not having any levels of hierarchy. So this is one one hypothesis. Or the second strategy, we can assume that the dimensions have levels of hierarchy. So for two ways, we can compute the cube. So when you come to the first strategy, the dimensions, they do not have any levels of hierarchy. Then we can compute the cuboids, the total number of cuboids for an n-dimensional data cube is 2 power n. So if your cube has n dimension, then your number of cuboids will be 2 power n dimension. See, suppose it has only three dimensions, the data cube consists of. It will have 2 power 3. So totally 8 cuboids will be there. So all these 8 cuboids you can perform for our operations. So like this, we can compute the cube when we are not having levels of hierarchy in dimension. The second strategy, suppose we have levels of hierarchy, the dimension has some subset of dimensions, then how do you calculate the number of cuboids? That is, it is the product of i is equal to 1 to n, integration also we can use here. So li plus 1, li is nothing but the levels of hierarchy of ith dimension. Plus one, why we are using. So I will show you the cube for your reference. See, just this is the cube. See, here this cube consists of four dimension. That is time, item, location, supplier. These are four dimensions. So how many cuboids we can calculate here? 
2 power n or 2 power 4 means 16. Just you are counting all these cuboids, you will get 2 power 16 cuboids you will get. So here we are not having any levels of hierarchy. Suppose your dimensions uh, have levels of hierarchy like this. See, this is one dimension location. Again, it has been split into another sub dimensions. So like this, if it go, how to calculate your dimension? So that is the formula Li plus 1. That, that is the summation of the product of Li plus 1. Plus 1, why we are using no? the zeroth dimensions we are using? That is fx dimension. For that, we have added this plus 1. So this is the way we can compute the cuboids for particular cube. Now, since we are using this number of cuboid, number of levels of dimensions get increased, automatically the, it will occupy more space in the memory. So these type we can refer as curse of dimensionality. That is the number of hierarchies increases, increases. It will take more memory space, more storage in the virus. So such case we can refer as curse of dimensionality. So this is the way we can compute the cube. And we can say this as cube materialization or cube computation. So there are three choices of cube materialization in data warehouse implementation. That is, one is no materialization. As I explained in the first, we are not going any computation techniques. Just we are using our data warehouse as it is. So automatically the response time will be more and the performance of the system will be reduced. So that is the one case. Another one, full materialization. So full cuboid is materialized. So again is the problem. We are using the entire cuboid. So here we, we have to do some certain techniques to follow the uh, query processing. And the next one is, third one is partial materialization. When you come to partial materialization, which cuboid or which cube is really relevant to the query processing, that alone we can consider. That is partial materialization. So here we can take set of cuboids. Some factors we have to consider under partial materialization. One is we have to identify the subset of cuboid, which cuboids are really relevant to the query processing. When you come to full materialization, all the cuboids will be used for our query processing. So again, it is very similar to no materialization. When you come to partial materialization, we have to select a set of cuboids which are really relevant to process the queries. So that is one factor. How do you identify the subset of cuboids. So we can identify the subset of cuboids. Some two techniques we have used here. One is which are all the cuboids are referred frequently by previous query processing. So that cuboid can be considered for the later query processing. This is one way we can consider. So here what we can do, every cuboid will have another bit for reference how many times it is referred it is very similar to in the page replacement algorithm in os which page has to replace so which page is not referred so that page will be so how they will identify they will have extra bit how many times the particular cuboid is referred that count will be increased in that storage so based on that that cuboid will be selected and another one is iceberg method iceberg method means we can fix a threshold value here suppose the count is greater than 10 suppose the number of count is greater than 10 such time you can take select the particular cuboid otherwise the cuboid will not be considered. Like that, we can fix a threshold based on the threshold value or which are all the cuboids satisfy the threshold value that the cuboid will be selected for query processing. This is the first one, how to identify the subset of cuboid. And the next one, we have to exploit the materialized cuboid during the query processing. So the query processing has to use or has to apply this cuboid on the so that is the second one. And the third one, efficiently update the materialized cuboid. So once the query processing over, we have to update the materialized cuboid back to the cube. So what is the technique we are using here? 
these are the techniques which are used in the data warehouse in the earlier stage load refresh and incremental update so these are these are three operations we are performing to update the materialized cuboid in the cube so this is the way we can compute and we can materialize the cuboid for query processing this is the first step for data warehouse implementation and the second one is access method what is the structure of access method we are using for data warehouse implementation two methods we are using here one is bitmap index and another one is join index bitmap index is the values in the dimensions will be represented by one bit if it is present it will be one if it is not present it will be zero so when we are searching any value in the cuboid wherever we are having the bit one we can access that values so it will reduce the total time here because for accessing the bit one it will take a fraction of seconds so automatically our uh, response time will get reduced here and another method we are using is join index when you go up with more than one cuboid for accessing our query processing we have to use group by this is very similar in our dbms dbml dbms we will use group by similarly here also we are using join here to pre index suppose if you are taking item item sales so when you take item sales we need locations we need uh, the time period so three tables we can three dimensions we can join together to perform the uh, query processing so for accessing we have to join the dimensions so these two access structure we are using in data warehouse and the next one is query processing techniques how we are applying our query so query processing we are using the olap query structure so all data warehouse is using olap query structure to speed up the query process since we are using the materialized cuboids so it will automatically it will increase our uh, it will improve our response time as well as it will increase the total performance of the system see two things we have to consider while we are going for query processing one is which cuboid operations should be performed on the available cuboids first one we must consider about which cuboid operations and the second one which materialized cuboids are relevant to the particular operations so these two things we must be very clear on query processing see one example i have given here let me take the query process on brand and province or state with the condition year 2004 and we have four materialized cuboid here so which cuboid will be used here and which is not relevant to this query when you come to the first cuboid it is year is there so we can apply this condition here then brand so item name is there so we can use then province or state city is there we can use so first cuboid is suitable to process this query then when you come to the second year is there and brand is there country is there but here we are not using country province or state but so we cannot apply our query on this cuboid when you come to the third third is suitable to apply this query similarly fourth is also suitable so like this we have a set of materialized cuboid and we have to find out which operations to be performed on particular cuboid and which cuboid will be applicable for the operations so this is the way we have to use the query processing techniques in data warehouse so these are the three main factors we have to consider while we implement data warehouse that is efficient cube computation techniques access method and query processing techniques hope you understood about data warehouse implementation thank you